When Kagla Fiori received the ball in midfield during the final moments of stoppage time in the match between Italy and Croatia, even the most optimistic and imaginative Italian supporters could not have hoped for much. The Azzurri, throughout the entire match, especially after falling behind, completely stagnant in attack. They seem to have no ideas on how to approach the Croatian goal except for harmless crosses and attempts to penetrate the penalty area that were easily neutralized. In a moment of despair, Italy came back to life with an incredible play from Kagla Fiori. The number five pushed the ball up from midfield, played a 1-2 with a teammate, and then surged into the opponent's penalty area before providing an assist to Kaglia Jiman. Given the difficult situation Italy was facing at that time, it was hard to believe that this was a play made by a player who was only 22 years old and experiencing his first major tournament. After the match, Kogla Fiori could not explain his brilliant play against Croatia, but saved his team. It seemed like an instinctive play from the 2002-born player with an abundance of confidence, and he received a worthy reward. Before that moment, Kogla Fiori had also played well against Croatia. He almost completely shut down the opponent's attacks. Number 5 defender achieved a perfect 100% success rate in tackles and interceptions made five clearances, and was not dribbled past even once. In the two lapses of concentration from the Italian defense that led to a penalty for Croatia and Modric's goal, Kagla Fiori was not at fault. Not only did he fulfill his defensive duties, but Kagla Fiori also played a significant role in ball circulation and supporting the attack. When his team was struggling, he frequently pushed high up the pitch to initiate attacking moves. The Malatnia player had three accurate key passes, created four scoring chances for his teammates, the most by any Italian player in the match. Prior to that, Kagla Fiori had also left a certain mark with his technical abilities in the two matches against Albania and Spain. Although the 22-year-old himself scored an own goal that led to the Azuri's defeat against Spain, it was difficult to blame him. Watching Kagla Fiori play at Euro 2004, it seemed as if he possessed vast experience having played in many major tournaments throughout his career. Making his debut in a major tournament, facing top football stars from around the world, the 2002-born defender showed no signs of fear or pressure in the decisive match. His demeanor in every situation exuded composure and a maturity beyond his 22 years. Kogla Fiori has been showcasing the best of his abilities. Kogla Fiori is the new discovery of the Italian national team at Euro 2024. The 2002-born player has just had a successful season with Bologna, finishing fifth in Serie A and securing a Champions League spot. The 22-year-old defender played a key role in helping his team concede the third-fewest goals in the league, only behind Inter Milan and Juventus. Pagla Fiori possesses a modern playing style and tactical awareness. He is capable of playing both as a central defender and a left back. The 2002-born player possesses good ball-playing skills, is comfortable carrying the ball forward, and can also contribute to the attack. This was evident in the three matches he played for Italy. Kagla Fiori had his first taste of international football ahead of Euro 2024. He was a preferred choice for head coach Luciano Spalletti's central defense in, in preparation for the tournament. Although Achebe and Scalvini were injured, Kagla Fiori immediately repaid Spalletti's faith when given the opportunity. At 22 years old, Kagla Fiori has a bright future ahead of him, and the 2002-born player has every right to think about new steps in his career. At big teams after Euro 2024 ends, according to Italian media, Juventus, Arsenal, and Chelsea are three clubs eager to sign the Sabazen prodigy. Many reports have even claimed that the old lady is leading the race, having reached an agreement with Kagla Fiori. Recently, however, Bologna's technical director, Satori, provided some notable updates on the deal. It is true that Juventus and a few other teams have sent us offers. But at this time, Bologna has no intention of selling Kagla Fiori. We will only consider it if we receive a substantial offer. However, I don't think he'll go to Juventus. He could join a team outside of Italy, but I need to emphasize that, at present, Bologna will try to keep him. 
Meanwhile, Corriello Sport reported that Arsenal submitted an initial offer of 47 million euro for Ricardo Caglafiori. Bologna quickly rejected this price because they wanted to receive at least 50 million euros for the 22-year-old defender's signature. Chelsea also want to sign the Azuri centre-back, but they don't have Champions League football next season. Juventus, on the other hand, have tried to sign Cagla Fiori. Oriello Sport added that Arsenal are now ready to guarantee a fee of 42 million euro to sign Cagla Fiori in the coming weeks. Only team capable of beating Arsenal at the negotiating table at the moment is Liverpool. Jamate Jardi and Vojvodina passed their prime. Liverpool must spend money to sign a top defender in the summer transfer window. This is a financially stable club, with the only caveat being that they have just appointed a new coach. And it is not easy for Liverpool's sporting project to convince Cagla Fiori. It's different from what Mikel Arteta has built at MLS. Fabrizio Romano recently reported that Arsenal's leadership is working hard to extend the Spanish strategist's contract. This shows that Arteta is highly trusted and providing him with quality signings this summer. Obvious. Based on Arsenal's performance over the past two years, Romano also added that Cagla Fiori's price will be quite expensive, as Bologna will only receive 50% of the transfer fee. They have to split half with Bazin, Cagla Fiori's former club. As they enter an arms race, Arsenal's financial advantage will become even more apparent. Speaking about Arsenal's interest in Ricardo Caglafiori, Charles Ward said, This will also be a difficult deal for the MLS side, the English journalist said. Current links with Ricardo Caglafiori remind me of Arsenal's interest. Emmanuel Locatelli a few years ago. Arsenal liked Locatelli and made that known to the players' representatives, but they always had the impression that he wanted to join Juventus. So, despite the interest, it never really went any further. And that's how I see things with Cagla Fiori at the moment. Arsenal are interested in him and have made that known. Bologna are aware of the interest from Arsenal, and so is the player. Cagla Fiori is seen as someone who could arrive and strengthen Mikel Arteta's defense this summer. But Arsenal know that there is widespread interest from other clubs, both in Italy and the Premier League, so this will not be an easy deal. Last season, they were the Premier League's biggest spenders, splashing out £105 million to bring in the country. Currently, there is information that Arsenal are looking for a new destination for Jakub Kivija. The departure of the Polish defender will certainly pave the way for Kagla Fiori to the Emirates. In terms of expertise, in addition to what people saw at Euro 2004, Kagla Fiori is also a versatile defender. He can play both left and right centre back. Even at Bologna, in some cases, he played well at left back. At the age of 22, Cagla Fiori's development potential is still huge, and a move to a Champions League team with big ambitions like Arsenal would be something worth considering. Even if he makes good use of the opportunity, Cagla Fiori can compete for the main kick with the central defender, Gabriel Mancajes. Especially, he is a defender who rarely makes mistakes. Throughout the long season, he did not make any direct mistakes that led to the home team's goal. The own goal situation against Spain was a suspicious ball that Cagla Fiori made a mistake. With an Arsenal who love to develop the ball into the home side, they will be very much looking forward to having this signature. Perhaps Cagla Fiori's only problem with Arsenal is probably his injury history. Back in 2018, Cagla Fiori played for Roma and was supposed to become the icon of this team like Francesco Totti or Daniele De Rossi. However, a horrific tackle in a UEFA EuroLeague match left him with a serious injury requiring surgery. All of his ligaments were torn along with the meniscus and joint capsule. A doctor told Corriere della Sport, things like this usually only happen in motorcycle races, not in football. It's a once in a decade injury. However, the player has made a miraculous recovery and is able to compete at the highest level. In Syria, last season, this player was the mainstay of Bologna. He has played 26 games, five times voted into the team of the week, and helped his team keep 10 clean sheets. However, in a football environment, operating at high intensity and with a lot of strong tackles and touches like in the Premier League, Calafiori will clearly be a risky move by the Gunners. 
and so we and Edu probably wouldn't want to see another Julian Timber appear in the 2014-2015 season.